Ready to go? Not yet, just five more minutes. Just five more minutes. Bam, come on. No time to waste. There's a race that we need to run. We need to get in the flow. We need to get this done. No time for fun. <laughs> okay, wait, what? It's all good. Grab some coffee, pack your schedule, and keep a healthy balance. Balance? What's balance? Is it gluten-free? Can I order it on Amazon? There's a podcast. Let me tweet you the link, but you don't have time to listen because you don't have time to think because your meetings are overrunning, your Insta, mm, underwhelming, and you've got bath time, homework time, Netflix time, church time, exercise time. There is never enough time to make our mark, to set our path, and to lead with joy, grace, and purpose. Inhale, exhale. You can do it, but you can't do it alone. Defining leadership can be exhausting. A vast amount of talents and refined character can take more than a lifetime to master. But what if transformational leadership takes a collective? Unity forged from diversity with a shared goal. It's unstoppable. Let's not do it alone. So we are gathered as a movement of the collective with a shared vision to be effective. This is a time to refresh, to reground, and to redream as we gather together, as we grow together, and as we impact the nations together. It's unlocking what's inside of you to unlock others. Let's be a community that is not satisfied with the mediocre, but together we strive to shape the future. We can do it together. Hi everyone, on behalf of Global CI Forum and the entire team at GC Media Group, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this edition of the World CIO 200 Summit, Southeast Asia. We welcome our community in participating countries, Singapore, Hong Kong, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. The World CIO 200 Summit spans across 36 plus countries, connecting with over 4,000 plus tech leaders. The journey has been incredible and we have grown tremendously with the support of our global CIO community, industry players and stakeholders and our honorable country partners. At the Global CIO Forum, we not only provide our members with an exchange forum for best IT leadership strategies and practices to enhance business results, but we are also developing a strong voice to ensure that CIOs are represented at key industry and government decision tables. In other words, integrate, influence, impact. In the last two years, especially, we have had a number of virtual seminars, webinars, and roundtables, uh, as well as one-on-one -on -one interviews to bring the community together across business, private equity, and government channels. With the launch of our magazine editions of uh, Titans Asia and Business Transformation Asia, we at GC Media Group are dedicated to the region to bring the technological solutions, transformative learnings and perspectives to our community. The digital future has arrived and we are committed to highlight discussions on how business technology and customers go hand in hand in this large surge of transformation. Our expansion plans in the region are events as we open up here in Singapore and Southeast Asia and as travel comes back up, we are curating various events, discussions, and fun times for all of us to bond together. Do look out for our announcements and we look forward to your participation. 
Our team has relentlessly researched and worked towards uh, reaching out to many more IT leaders to put a spotlight on their tremendous work, effort, and sweat as they have toiled to bring their businesses up to speed in these fast changing times. Congratulations in advance to all the winners. I'm now delighted to welcome my friend Manoj Saxena, Chairman Rosetta Net GS1 Singapore, who has brought in tremendous expertise in technology, his dedication to expand the network, and his thought leadership that has helped in creating various discussion streams and research work that is extremely helpful to our leaders. Hi Manoj, over to you. Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you to World CIO 200, CI edition. And uh, it's one of the prestigious events for most of the C-suites to be uh, recognized. And uh, I, I would like to congratulate them in advance uh, when the announcements are made. And uh, just to give a little recap about this two years journey across uh, two good organizations, non-profit, this is at Singapore GS1 Digital Standards and Global CIO Forum. Uh, we had made a good progress and presence in Southeast Asia uh, to bring the C-suites with a vision, mission of uh, trying to resolve the industry challenges and problems and uh, bringing the government, industry players and the education institutions together. We had several uh, events, webinars as you know in the last two years and uh, trying to uh, capture the moment in time with the uh, Research 360 uh, where uh, before the pandemic and during the pandemic and as we see some of the recoveries happening, we captured that moment in time across uh, different geographies and with all the people, process, technologies put across. And this data we have is about uh, incredible information for us to analyze and detect saying that how each industry is performing by geography, by market segment, and uh, what are the different strategies and actionable outcomes we can use for the industries to help to come out and bounce back when the economy is picking up, which we all know is a, is a good news. And we have a lot of VTL lanes being uh, uh, announced by different countries to kind of uh, bring back the travel and the business trips and uh, the economy to revive right so so that data would be used and we'd have a lot of actionable programs and some of the key things which we are trying to work on is the industry 4.0 edge technologies uh, as um, <laughs> different countries and different industries are working on the innovations piece we as an organization want to help them to build the standards so that when they're ready it's recognized cross borders and uh, some key initiatives we're working with the imda on trade trust and uh, with uh, Enterprise Singapore on trade finance uh, registry, right? So that also is one of these programs we're working on and to make sure that the blockchain is kind of used as a trusted uh, service to uh, where, where the companies can go and acknowledge their uh, their uh, authenticity of the documents, so, for example, right? Similarly, in the space of IoT, we are trying to see how do we have the standards developed when the 5G is coming into play so that uh, it can be easy for the industries to adopt, right? And we will continue to have this uh, collaboration in multi folds uh, in terms of uh, the outcomes which has come out of the research to be breaking it down into different training programs, setting, um, having a university joint programs to build some POCs, center of excellence and uh, develop the standards with the industry, with the, uh, with the governments, right? And then we also would like to have some uh, mix and match of uh, different verticals of startups, ISVs and industries where co-innovation co and co-partnership can be encouraged. and. Uh, also have a lot of uh, awareness sessions and bringing people together not not so much of uh, webinars alone now the good news is the details have opened and uh, travel and the borders are open we like to see more face-to-face -face sessions and, uh, and more collaborations for for people like uh, c-suite like you to come and join hands and make a difference and uh, what we do in things both in, in the organization and giving it back to society right and as we speak we are talking about the first event to be launched in uh, dubai a face-to-face -face event and we're, we're having a couple of uh, sessions there we look forward to having similar ones in SIA and, uh, and we call upon the uh, your collaboration and participation for us to break down this into actionable program into green initiatives, sustainable initiatives and uh, industry 4.0 initiatives like I mentioned and to make sure that uh, we are ready when the economy is ready and uh, we're able to accelerate our reset, restart kind of programs, right? With this, I'd like to uh, call upon to congratulate all the participants and wish you all the best and and uh, look forward to have a, a more fruitful sessions uh, in the in the year to come and uh, more face-to-face -face sessions for us to make a difference. Congratulations to all the award participants.